Hello YouTube, Colebot Forever here. Today, I'll show you how to set up Shopbot. It's fairly easy and it already has its own picket list. We will need to edit our character config file in our picket list. First, start by opening your character config for the character you wish to Shopbot with. Side note, make sure you have lots of gold, preferably max before you start and make sure to only use the Shopbot config to avoid unwanted behaviors slash errors. Find the Shopbot config and edit it to true. Next, we can choose our NPC to Shopbot with. In this case, I will leave Anya, but you can choose Ormus, Farah, etc. After that, go to scan IDs as these are the types of items we will be looking for. Since we are using Anya, we looking for trap claws here are some claw names. Names not numbers are used in scan IDs. To find the names, we need to open ntitemalias.js. This is located in your callbit folder, D2BS, Callbit, Libs, Core, Game Data. Once there, look for the names of the items you want. Copy the names with quotation marks around it and a comma after, followed by a space for the next item as shown. Cycle delay can be whatever you want, it's in milliseconds if you choose to use it. Before we edit our picket settings, go to min game and max game time. Change the max game time to a much higher number so the bot will stay in the game longer without making new games. There isn't a reason to make a new game as the NPC will refresh each time you go in the portal or waypoint. Keep in mind this only happens if you are the only one in the act. Best to make private games to avoid issues. Lastly, we need to edit the picket list. Nothing will be kept by default. Picket files are found in your callbit folder, D2BS, callbit, picket. Once they're find and open shopbot.js, we are using Anya. As such, we only want to enable items Anya will have. Remove the comments out if you wish to keep those items. Usually with Anya, we are looking for lightning sentry claws. As shown, I have commented them out, so we will now buy and keep those as we find them. Shopbot can take quite a long time to find items. Be patient. Make sure you save everything before exiting. Go to d2bot.exe and run d2bot lead script just as if you were for ball runs, etc. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.